Hey everybody, Tim DeStasio here, and I've been working with Conduit Tech for about six months now. They are a fairly new company that is making a huge impact on the industry because their software allows you to take an iPad like this and using the iPad's internal LiDAR technology, you can scan the rooms of the house. It will not only give you the dimensions of those rooms, but it'll also produce an ACCA certified manual J heat load calculation. And just this week, Conduit Tech got that ACA certification that allows them to be able to say powered by manual J. And I'll tell you that not every piece of software out there that claims to do heat load calculations can say that they're ACCA powered by manual J, but Conduit Tech is. I've been using it on a lot of my field consultation visits. Any existing residential house that I am going in there and doing a heat load calculation on, I'm using Conduit Tech now because it is so quick. Instead of measuring with a tape measure every single room, trying to do a room to room heat load calculation, I just use this tool and as I'm doing it, it's given me that heat load calculation. So I'm gonna walk you through the process just show how easy and intuitive and quick it is, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do after we fill in all the customer information that is right here, you can open up a comfort survey, you can talk to the customer, and this is this doesn't affect the load, it more helps you for your note-taking purposes to uh, remember what issues you're actually there to solve. But we're gonna get right into the meat of how to do this. We're gonna tap that to start a scan. And so it's gonna ask just a couple of questions. Which story are you scanning? Of course, I've got a one-story house. So we're gonna scan a new segment now. And just to get the app acclimated, we're just gonna move our iPad up and down. This is really just the motion that we're gonna to start to make as we go around the house. And so as you can see, the app is figuring out where corners are. It's also making sure it doesn't confuse furniture and it recognizes doors and windows. As we just keep going around the house here, as we get into my dining room, sometimes it'll think there's a wall there, but then eventually, if you just keep scanning, it'll kind of correct itself. Again, this is just really cool technology. And as we just keep scanning the room here, we're just taking up and down motions. And it is recognizing everything here. It's not confusing cabinets for walls. It is recognizing furniture, doorways, chase openings, or case openings, excuse me. And we just keep going around the room. So this is the motion that we're gonna go all around the house. And I'm just gonna kind of leave it here. I'm gonna go ahead and scan the rest of the house. It's gonna take me a few minutes. All right, so we have scanned all the segments of our house. The next thing we're gonna do is hit merge and correct. And here is where we get a chance to sort of edit the scan. Because sometimes things aren't perfect, but uh, we can make some corrections, we can move some walls around, we can extend walls, create new walls. And really, it's done a pretty good job of scanning my house. As you can tell, uh, my living room has got higher ceilings. Uh, and I tell you, there's not many places that I need to edit. But if you notice here, for example, there's a little opening right here. And that's just because there's a closet in my office that is really hard to scan, but we can add a wall. We can move this wall wherever we want. We can even rotate the wall. I don't think we need to do that. We can really have a lot of customizable features here. We're gonna hit save. Uh, and then there's one other place here in the other bedroom of the house. There's a closet that extends here that again is just really hard to scan. So I am gonna just get to a good position here to add a wall. We're gonna hit save, and we're gonna add one more wall to connect that. And I'm gonna add a little short wall here. And there we go, that is the layout of my house. So let's go into the next step, which is gonna be room assignment. All right, so you have two choices here. You can either do a block load where it treats everything like one room, or you can start telling it which rooms are which. We're gonna add a room here, and we're gonna select which walls are part of that room. So here is our master suite. 
we're going to select these walls here. Again, if you're doing a ductwork uh, replacement or a new system install, then yeah, you're going to want to do a room to room. But if you're just doing an equipment replacement, typically a block load is all you need. And now I'm going to enter the name. All right, I'm going to repeat the same process for the rest of the house. I'm not going to bore you with those details. We'll skip ahead to the next step. Okay, so here is my finished scan. If I need to edit any of these rooms that I've created, I can. Once we're happy with our scan, and we can always go back to it, the next thing we need to do is configure some of our room components. So we've got walls, windows, doors, and our floors. So let's start with walls. You can set up templates so that you don't have to build these out from scratch every time, but you've got different choices of exterior walls, above grade or basement, frame walls, wood. In this case, I've got two by four, R15, no board insulation with siding. And that's literally how quickly it is. We go to windows, uh, we could choose a standard window, but if we actually have the ratings for it, which I do because it's a newer house, I can go ahead and put those ratings in here. The next thing we're gonna look at is design conditions. Now this is another cool feature. Uh, Conduit Tech will choose the closest ASHRAE weather station to you, but you do have the choice to override that. So for example here, it's choosing Cape Fear Regional. Uh, the problem is that is right at the beach, and so it's a completely different climate humidity-wise than I am here a few miles inland. So I'm actually going to choose Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, because it more closely resembles my actual weather here at my neighborhood. And even if you wanted to make some fine tune adjustments, you can change your indoor conditions, your design conditions. So you can really mess around with any of that stuff that you want here. So I'm happy with Wilmington. It does want us to acknowledge that that is an override, which is completely understandable. The next thing is infiltration. Now with my house, I've got a really tight house. And so I've actually got a blower door here that I'm gonna put. This is my CFM50 that I actually took on my blower door. So this is what sets Conduit Tech apart. So I know what my blower door reading was, which is really cool that they give you a place to put it. And if we are zoning off our house here, uh, then we have the ability to do that. I don't have any zoning in my house, uh, so everything is gonna get put in the same zone. And if you wanna view your zone map, it'll show you how your house is broken up. Duct work. The duct work at my house is in a conditioned space. It's not in a vented attic. It's in an encapsulated attic. So it even differentiates between conditioned space and encapsulated attic. Supply air temperature. For a gas furnace, you're gonna have a little bit higher supply air temperature than a heat pump. I am going to just put 100 degrees for heat pump. We're gonna to go to internal loads next. So I do have a three bedroom house. If I was doing this for somebody else, of course I would be putting in four occupants because it's always bedrooms plus one but in this case my wife and i live here no kids so we're just going to put two because that's the actual use of the house appliance load or we're just going to use the default appliance we don't have anything crazy in here as we keep going we've got to talk about ventilation so i am pulling in ventilation on the return side of the equipment it of course it'll give us our ashray recommended ventilation my actual ventilation here is 45 and finally ancillary mode so we can include the motor wattage because technically our blower does add just a little bit of heat to the airstream it's really inconsequential how much it adds so even if you forget it's not a big deal here we have it now there are a few things that we want to consider also if we go back to our rooms and our scan uh, for example, if you have a window that is uh, different from the other windows, and you're going to want to make sure you uh, tell the software that. So for example, these windows here are externally shaded. They sit under my back porch, which is a screened-in porch. So we are going to tell it that it is externally shaded. Once we're at the bottom of the screen, the only thing left is our reports. So we're going to hit viewing reports. I really love how the workflow just sends you from top to bottom, which is just so easy and so intuitive. We got two different reports. We got one that's a little bit more consumer friendly. 
Um, it doesn't have the details that you're going to need as a contractor, but you can see what the load is. And I can tell you from the extensive load calculations that I've worked on in my house, uh, I've used WriteSoft when I first designed the house. I've even gone back and done like a retroactive load calculation based on the runtime of my units. And I can tell you that I am right there in that 15 to 17,000 total cooling BTUs, 26,000 heating BTUs. I can tell you, you can trust these numbers. As you can see here, it even gives you your room to room heating and cooling BTUs. That's just amazing. You can now send that uh, email to your customer. You can save it as a PDF. Let's take a look at the manual J report. As we can see, we've got a few more details here. It even tells us we've overridden something, which is really important. And what's really cool is it gives us our uh, adequate exposure diversity. What this is, is telling your house if it needs to be zoned. So technically my house uh, during a certain part of the day is going to get a lot more sun and require a lot more cooling than the rest of the house and it could create comfort problems and what i can tell you is yes around eight to nine o'clock the sun would shine into our master bedroom if it weren't for the trees on the other side of that wall so fortunately i get some shading with the trees but if the trees weren't there then that morning sun would kind of cook that east facing wall of the house but fortunately in reality that's not a problem but it's really cool that uh, to be manual j certified your software has to give you this adequate exposure diversity report so that you know if you need to include zoning as we just keep going through the report lots of detail here and just like the other reports you can email them to yourself you can save them as a pdf save it to your job file send them to your customer so overall conduit tech knocks it out of the ballpark so there you have it it is that easy to do a heat load calculation that is manual j certified using conduit tech i can scan my house in about seven minutes it takes me about another five to do all the other work that you saw doing when i don't have to explain it for a video I, once you do it a few times you become an expert you can run right through it so if you're a contractor and you want to do manual j's on all your replacements as you know you should but you're apprehensive about taking all that time to collect all that data take those measurements make the manual j before you even get the job because you don't know if you're actually gonna get the job, I get it. But this takes that time down to just a fraction of what it used to be. So there's really no reason why we can't do manual J's and just do better work. The other thing that I wanna address is obviously this is not a free service, but I can tell you that I do manual J's all the time on my computer for contractors just like you. And the minimum that I charge is around $190. So if you're doing more than two jobs a month and you're paying somebody to do a manual J, you still have to go out and get me my measurements. This software allows you to fire me and do it all in house. And that's gonna make your whole process a lot more streamlined and a lot more effective and accurate. So I encourage you to please check out Conduit Tech. I'm gonna leave the website and the information down below so you can check them out yourself. Thanks for watching and as always, work